So today I'm going to talk a bit about timers and the postman minigame in Zelda Majora's Mask. So there are two types of timer that the game uses, and the one that we'll be concerned with in this video is the on-screen timer that's used for minigames. The way that this works is by using the CPU register count, and this tracks the number of instructions that the CPU has executed since the console is switched on. And then by combining that with the clock rate of the Nintendo 64, it can basically get the amount of real time that's passed. The other type of timer that the game uses is a frame counter, which is used for everything from the in-game clock to setting up sequences of events and cutscenes. So for this particular minigame, the goal is to stop the timer at 10 seconds, precise to hundreds of seconds. However, the game only tracks inputs 60 times per second, and only updates the screen 20 times per second in normal gameplay. So immediately we have a problem here, because there is no guarantee that the 60 input frames per second will line up with 10.00 seconds. In fact, the original Japanese versions of the game failed to compensate for this in the programming, such that on certain occasions it will just be impossible to win the minigame, and on the times that you can win, your input has to be precise to 1 60th of a second. The later US and European versions fix this oversight by allowing a large frame window for you to win the minigame. So that basically explains how this works, but we are not done with this video just yet, because now we have to introduce something that complicates this even further, and that is emulation. So, I've written some code and done a short experiment to look at how the timer performs on Nintendo 64 versus Emulator. So I've set up the cycle count to print on the screen, and I've set it to zero at the start of the minigame. And what we see is that on the emulators, the count is drifting ahead or behind of where it is on the console. And this is the reason why, for example, the Japanese version of the minigame on the Wii seems to give 10.00 a lot less consistently than it does on the Nintendo 64, because the count is not quite accurate. I think that's about all for this video, so as always, I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.